On the second night of a back-to-back, -back, I wanted to make my first video of the season on the always-ready Moses Moody. Despite inconsistent minutes, Moody took the opportunity last night in the place of the missing Andrew Wiggins with a team-high 31 minutes and a plus 17, so let's break down his performance. With Steve Kerr starting the lineup small as always, we have a set play where Moody makes an Iverson cut to the left wing which leads to a dribble handoff. When the balls rotate up top to Kaminga to attack the rim, Clay is setting an inverted pick and roll to see whether Toronto switch off of shooters. And with RJ Barry solely focused on Thompson, this gives JK an advantage attacking the paint. Naturally, as Moody is moving along the baseline, this attracts the attention of Emmanuel quickly, who tries to go straight up and contest. However, this was kind of a shooter decoy play as the kick out to the strong side corner was the whole plan. Moody has all day to load up an open three-pointer. Defense has consistently been his strong suit. I think it's important to see how fast Moody is able to recover, as initially quickly has pretty much 10 feet of space in front of him, and Moses is still able to not only make the effort, but get a good hand up and affect the miss. Moody generally has more issues against quicker, smaller guards, but here he's able to slide his feet just well enough so quickly he doesn't pull a bullshit ass foul. I'm glad the refs don't call these as much, as he grabs a loose ball and surveys the break. With no Raptor player really picking him up, Moses takes a couple long strides and exploits his opening before finishing with a right hand scoop layup. Good aggressiveness. Again, good awareness to stay in help position but not overcommit. Here he helps a smaller Steph Curry and gets his hands in the cookie jar to prevent Bear from even attempting a floater. Not much of a breakdown here, but it's good to see him simply take what the defense gives. Dribble handoff by Dre for coming up to attack off the catch, but Toronto does a good job switching and getting a big man to deter JK's drive. Moody picks up the loose ball and it's good to see him simply just take a wide open 10 foot jump shot instead of passing it out or some dumb shit. He's also a solid on-ball defender as we know. No issue here with the smaller guard, but way to put pressure on the ball and use the half-court line as an extra defender. Here he picks the crossover and gets the steal. The Raptors were hooping the first half. With a high pick and roll involving CB3 and Jackson Davis, Toronto does a good job icing this away from the middle of the court and towards the sideline. TJD counters by sending a new perpendicular screen, and with a Linux and a drop, the weak side Raptors are staying in hell position. Bruce Brown takes the responsibility of helping on the roll man, so Paul swings it to the wide open Moody on the weak side left wing. Moody unfortunately has kind of a slow release, but it doesn't matter here on the contest as he knocks it down. Another great example of on-ball defense. As Poto comes for the high pick and roll, Moses decides to ice this towards the sideline, knowing Draymond's got his back. This coverage leads quickly to pick up the ball near half court, and with nowhere to go, Moody increases the pressure on the ball with his long wingspan and gets the deflection. It's the little things here, like diving on a loose ball before the opponent, that will keep him in the game. Also not much a breakdown here, but even with the slower release, Moody was hooping last night and taking the first good shot the defense allows him. Credit Steph for pushing the ball up fast as he sees Toronto is not picking up players well, and Moody walks into a three with the defender's hand down. Again, Moody isn't the highest jumper, but he's got the fundamentals down as he grabs the defensive rebound and immediately finds Steph. Good lead pass to an exploding Jonathan Kaminga, and with both Raptors focused on JK's drive, nice dump off to Moody as he cleans up his own mess on the second chance points. Overall good high quality look. Moody isn't going to give you Kyrie Irving level sexy highlights, but when he's feeling it, he's not going to give up his shine even to JK on this missed lob. As long as he makes a layup, I couldn't care less here. This was an impressive heads up play, with Moody initially picking up a big man down low, RJ Bear has an opening on Clay and attacks with a strong left hand. This collapses the defense and now Steph has to pick up the two weak side shooters, but look who goes all the way from near the restricted area to close out far to the left wing. Quickly is fully wide open here, but Moses has the speed to run out to the perimeter and not only contest but get this block. There you guys have it. With the 8th straight road win, the Warriors keep up their momentum as they got a solid team effort. Moses Moody was a shining performance last night, leading the team in both minutes and plus minus, as he is stepping up on the role of starter. It's impressive despite inconsistent minutes his whole career, Moody has rarely let fans down as he makes up the little plays and quietly puts up an overall solid performance, so I want to highlight his best game in a long ass time. Hope you guys like this breakdown and like and subscribe to see more.